basically this survey is, it examines how we think about truth. <laughs> well, we're, we got a problem right away, but yeah. I, 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 I... <laughs> Next one is people create words and define their meaning. Uh, no, that's I really disagree with that. I mean, some people, some small percentage of people do that, but most people accept the programming they received as children. They accept the definitions that have been given to them by their parents and the television and everything else and never even entertain the idea of questioning them. Okay. That's like individuals. Yeah. Um, you, we might look at it like, because, uh, okay, so. Yeah. Well, let me let me go one step further here. I mean, people sure. talk about language being uh, humanity's greatest invention, okay? Uh -huh. And I would say that's just ass backwards. I would say that humanity is language's greatest invention, that until language was sufficiently developed, uh, what you had was monkeys, but only when language developed to a sufficiently complex and self-reflexive structure did what we call humans uh, emerge. So that uh -huh. we didn't invent language; language invented us. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. <laughs> okay yeah i'm not asking you to believe it <laughs> yeah 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 i guess um the word human what what created that word oh i don't know you could look that up in the oxford english dictionary and figure out how long that bur i think it's been around for a while homo uh, it comes from that meaning man in Latin. Um, but if you're talking about scientific, like homo sapiens and homo just, erectus. Just the word itself. Like, yeah. um, I'm, I guess I'm convinced that human, a, a human or, or a group of humans decided we're going to use, we're going to use this word and we're going to define what it means so that we can understand what we're saying when we want to communicate. But I think that's um, relatively uh, straightforward when you just talk about our bodies. You know, I mean, the word homo goes back to Latin and, and other words in other languages. I mean, you can go back to cave, you know, you can go back 50,000 years and they clearly had language and they probably had language that distinguished wolves from bears, from trees and from other humans. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, that's relatively simple as long as you don't get clever and start asking philosophical stuff about it. But these bodies we, we inhabit, um, I mean, that, that's usually pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we don't have to use the word human. We can use a different word. We can use the word cup. You know, did, 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 was it a human that created that word or no? Uh, yeah. Um, well, see, this has to do with the whole thing is about the origins of language itself, which is highly controversial still. I mean, there is no generalist consensus at all within anthropology or linguistics or anything about just how far back language actually goes. Some people think it's no more than 50 or 60 or 100,000 years. Other people think uh, language goes back maybe a couple million years. Mm -hmm. And just how it emerged. I've got my own theories about this stuff. So... My sense is, again, no one person, 
Yeah, I, I don't think anybody knows how how this stuff works yet. Right now, I, I mean, I've got some general ideas about it, but you pick a particular word in a particular language, you can probably trace it back quite a ways, but then language goes back much further than any written records. So yeah. it, it may be that we just can't answer some of those questions. Yeah, and what is language? Like, is it, it is what whales do with each other? Is that language? Yeah, well, we don't know yet. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of questions that, that I think maybe we'll have answers for in the future, but we just don't have any way yet to talk reasonably about language. My sense is that language emerged from our navigation systems and that in, in a sense, uh, any animal uh, that inhabits, that has a home base and inhabits the territory has to have a navigation system so that it can find its way home at the end mm -hmm. of a day of hunting or whatever they do. Uh, so a navigation system, if you look at the way navigation systems work, that sort of defines language relatively well. And uh, so my sense is that that's where language comes from. Mm-hmm. And, do you uh, think um, do you think people define the meanings of words? Well, some people do. Scientists do under certain circumstances. Yeah. They they run into a new phenomenon and, or just discover a new species and have to invent a word for it, or or they find a new astronomical object and call it CG one hundred three seven point five Z <laughs> November mm -hmm. or something. So, yeah, most people, I think, don't. Okay. Uh, would the statement be more accurate if it said people can create words and define their meaning? Oh, of course they can. Yes. Okay. Okay. But they don't necessarily do that, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, right? I think very seldom do they do that. That's quite rare, I think. Okay. Unless you're a comedian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>